Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a sore throat again, so you'll have to forgive me. I wanted to just come on and do this quick homeware haul as I was in Inverness and if you don't know, I'm trying to redecorate my house. If you see this wall behind me, it's got this grey, grey flowery wallpaper. I was going to get rid of it, but I think to save myself a bit of money and it looks okay, I'm going to leave it. So the wall you can see over there is nicotine stained from my dad's years of smoking. So I am going to put white emulsion over it once I've sugar soaked it and then I'm going to paint it. So I went to b and and I've got two massive bags of different things here. So I'm just going to show you what I bought. So the first thing I got was a set of four highball glasses and they were 3 99 you know, just standard glasses because I was needing some. So that is for my kitchen. Then, because I've done my bathroom this kind of teal colour, I picked up this bed sheet. This was the last one of the bed sheets. So it's the big Mahusif ones because we all need a Mahusif thing. Me, sorry, I'm really not feeling it at all, but anyway. And then I also picked up, I'm not sure how much that one was, but just the bath towel was 6 99 which some people might find is a bit much, but there you go. Feels nice and soft. I'll probably wash it maybe before I use them. So that's for my bathroom. So some things in here that I won't necessarily need to show. <laughs> I mean, I picked up some panty liners things. I picked up these because these are brilliant. These are the Dettol multi-purpose cleaning wipes and this says 10 times more cleaning power, trap and lift technology, antibacterial resistant wipes. So I picked up those. Now I've got a few bits in here that are for my other halves in Valentine's so we'll just watch. I picked up this plaque. <laughs> that says classic, I mean, I don't drink gin and tonic, I drink gin and lemonade because I don't like tonic, but it says classic gin and tonic, 50 milliliters gin, fresh tonic water, pour over ice, serve with a wedge of le lemon or lime, little plaque, and I'm going to either hang it in my kitchen somewhere, and it was only a pound, or I am going to possibly put it in my porch way when people come in. So I thought that was funny. I picked up this Elite Black 16 piece stainless steel cutlery set which has four knives, four forks, four dessert spoons and four teaspoons because if you, by the time you see this you'll have seen my ASOS homeware haul. I got a little set that similar like this and this was 12 99 so I just thought I would add to that. I got this little fake succulent plant. Now it's not the nicest looking thing but I went on to Amazon when I was doing my bathroom and I thought I had ordered a copper effect succulent plant but all I paid 8 99 for was just the pot and some pebbles so I was a bit pissed off. So I saw this and they didn't have any other ones in the rose gold and this was 3 99 so I think I'll put either this in my bathroom or possibly on my kitchen window ledge. Then I picked up this contemporary copper set of three canisters, which I'll put like my tea, coffee and sugar in. Because I think with my kitchen being a kind of grey toned and the painters are coming back and I guess they'll paint it white or magnolia, I just thought the contrast of copper or rose gold would be quite nice. <coughs> and they were 11 99 for those. b names is brilliant. I picked up some poly seal one coat damp sealer, seals patches of damp and prevents them from reappearing. This is just a spray and you spray it on, it sprays on your walls white and it's supposed to stop the dampness coming back through. So I've got quite an old house, quite a lot of dampness even though the council say there isn't. And I sprayed this on my porchway on the inside before I painted and I also did it a bit at the back of my toilet as well. 
and yeah it's really good but I would make sure you open windows when you use this because it's really quite on your throat and then because I'm becoming a sad 35 year old <laughs> I bought some of these super absorbent dishcloths pack of four for $1.99 but I don't necessarily use them as dishcloths I just use them to clean them they're quite good so I got those and then keeping in with the rose gold theme I got this utensil holder because the one that I was going to use my utensils don't fit so this was $2.99 so that'll be like for my wooden spoons and all that good stuff I picked up some hay fever allergy tablets just because oops I did and I can put that into my little illness box I picked up more of these little dishmatic extra heavy duty refills for you know the little brush that you put the soap in and then do your dishes because I need more of those and then the last things in here I won't show you because they're not house things they're for my man um I went to the dentist yesterday before I went to Inverness and I was, you know the pain in that I'd be getting that I thought it was maybe neuralgia well he took a x-ray and he was tapping on my tooth and my tooth was sensitive but the x-ray shows that there's nothing wrong with my gums and my teeth so he thinks it's my sinuses which projecting the pain into my teeth giving me the headaches the sorrier excuse me so he I got a prescription of toothpaste that I have to use for a couple of weeks to see how I get on but while I was in B&M's I picked up some sensitive care toothpaste so that I've got sensitive toothpaste and I've got another sore throat which is just annoying. Needed a laundry basket so I picked up this laundry basket here it's one of these pop-up bins and it was $5.99 so that's quite good they had quite a few different ones and I couldn't decide. Oh. And then the next thing is a dish drainer. And I picked up a rose gold one because I've got a plastic one and I hate it because it gets so grubby. And this was $5.99 as well. I'm not putting any of my nice things in until the painters are completely done in there because the mess they left was just ridiculous. Really, really was. Okay, I got these. These are so cute. Look at these. They're like mini jar salt and pepper shakers. And they've got like the coppery effect. So these were $1.99. So I picked up these to put my salt and pepper in. I love them. They're so adorable. I picked up a four pack of mono check oversized tea towels, which were $2.99. Just need tea towels. <laughs> I picked up a new pair of slippers because I tripped over the paint and knocked them all over the slippers that my poor father got me for Christmas and had to throw them out so I got a pair of slippers in B&M's and they it says they're memory foam slippers and they are $3.99 so hopefully I won't spill any paint on those oh, what else have we got here <laughs> I'm so sad. I got a kitchen roll holder, copper effect again, and this was four ninety nine. It's quite sturdy actually. So I've got that, and I picked up. This is really heavy actually. I picked up a new can opener because my other one's a bit grubby, and I got a grey one because it'll match with my kitchen, and that was one ninety nine. I also picked up this three pack of Easy Grip Peelers. There is a black, white and grey one because again the one I've got is knackered and this is $1.99. I picked up this, oh I never noticed it was a three, anyway. I picked up this pink paint glitter, adds a subtle shimmer to paint and wood varnish and it was $1.99 and I got a pink one and I'm just intrigued so I've got some pink paint left from my room and I might see how that jazzes it up and then I saw this 
and it was the last one because it was on the Christmas sale even though I don't need a festive candle because we're coming out of the festive season and I've put all my festive candles and gingerbread things away but I saw this Yankee Candle Frosty Gingerbread and I had to have it and it smells divine as you can imagine so I will look forward to keeping that and burning it when we get into the winter I also picked up just a serrated slotted spoon by Russell Hobbs and it was £2.49 because I just wanted to get new things because the stuff we've had, we've had for years and if my dad was here, old people like to hoard and I don't. And then I picked up this for the lols as well. This was £3 and this, it says it's gin o'clock and I thought this would be cool to go in my kitchen. Whether it'll work very well or not, I do not know. But I just thought it was funny. And my friend thought it was funny too. And then I picked up... Oh, God. Heavy. I picked up two tubs of this Johnson's Soft Cream Non-Drip Gloss for interior and exterior wood and metal. Because this is what I used... This is what I used for like my skirting boards and my surrounds and my doors in my bathroom. And I also used it on the kitchen door. So I wanted two more tubs of that. So they were $7.99 each. And then, oh, this is the colour that I've decided to go for. For these other walls, you'll see in the background the wall there at the door. It's going to have a um, white emulsion just as like an under base. And then I'm going to put this paint on. So I got a humongous industrial size tub of white emulsion, which was 20 quid, which I thought was quite steep. But my friend was like, the one I was going to get was much smaller and it was £16. So, But I decided on this colour. So initially my thinking was to get rid of this wallpaper and I saw this one that had flower, flowers with grey flowers, like the black flower and yellow. And then I was going to paint these walls yellow. But I've always liked like brown and lime green and stuff like that. And people are like, oh, that sounds disgusting. But see, when you go on Pinterest and Google, it does look amazing and it really brightens up a room. Now, this room's quite dark, even when it's sunny. So I think it needs something. And I was looking up colours that go with grey. And the colours that went with grey, because this wallpaper is grey, is like a light sort of dusty pink or greens or yellows or an orange so I was initially going to get testers of orange and yellow and green now the Dulux paint was £15 and this Johnson's one which is brilliant I used this Johnson's paint on my bathroom it doesn't smell it dries quickly it's one that you can wipe and it's not going to take the paint off it's really good so I kind of wanted to stick with this brand because I know it goes on well so they didn't have any orange that I liked that wasn't pure garish and they didn't have any yellow. So I settled on this. So I got the silk for interior walls and ceilings and this is in Lime Crush. And I think this will be just a nice enough soft sort of green. Hopefully you're seeing it okay. You know, this is the colour of it here and this is the shade that it will be when it goes on the walls. Because they had a much more deeper sort of um, lime green and I was like, God, I think, like, if I was just going to do one wall, it would be fine. Like, say I was going to do that wall, like, that's almost like a feature wall. So, I got two tins of this and this is, how much is this? Does it say? Uh, 2.5 litres. So I've got two tins of this and hopefully that will be enough. If not, you know, I can always pop through and get more. And yeah, I think it'll be quite nice. And they were £11 each. So yeah, that was everything I got for my haul for my house so far. I mean, there's still bits and bobs I would like to get. But it was an unexpected trip to Inverness. I thought I was just going to the dentist here and then back to the house. And then my friend needed to go to Inverness and she was like, why don't you go? And I just thought, well, it saves me having to buy paint when I'm in Dundee and cart it back on the train with me. You know, I can just take it my friend's car 
from her car to my house. So I am going to go and pop all this stuff back in the bags and put it into my spare room for the moment because I am not putting anything nice in that kitchen until they've painted it because I don't know what they did in there. Like literally I came back from work on Friday and they must have had the door open and all my porch was just soaked because it's been pouring with rain. The house was freezing. They'd obviously took the wallpaper off that was in the kitchen and it's all stuck down my cooker and it was on my new floor that the that the boys had put down. The units were just, I don't know, there was water everywhere, which I guess was from the wallpaper steamer, plaster on the door handles of my new cupboards and I was like, oh my God. And I just hope when they come back tomorrow to paint, they put down dust sheets and they don't make a mess because surely to God they can see with their own eyes that I've just got a brand new kitchen so I wasn't very happy and my friend was going you're never happy you know they've come and done this and I was like yeah they've come to do it but they're getting paid to do it and it's a you know what I mean surely they want to do a good job as well anyway my throat's too sore for this ranting so if you like this video you know the drill give it a thumbs up share the channel click the bell button subscribe enter my thousand subscriber giveaway and I'll speak to you very soon bye